literally you can feel the plane like rocking, like swaying back and forth hard. Good afternoon, world travelers. Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed. And if you're new, welcome to the world of Wiss. I'm Wiss, and I hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become a part of my world. So, today we are going to be doing a day in the life of a flight attendant. I know that you all enjoy these vlogs, so I'm just going to keep up with them. Today is technically day two of four. You guys will be seeing this full vlog come Saturday because I think this vlog will be coming out on a Wednesday. Hopefully, my math is mathing. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. So, um, we are in Bloomington, Illinois. We'll be working a flight to Atlanta, and in Atlanta to Lafayette, 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 Louisiana. Hopefully I am saying that correctly. I will be the F flight attendant, meaning I will be working main cabin. Yesterday I started off the trip working first class, and at my airline, for the most part, we alternate, you know, each day, the position, since it's just the two of us. If we're working on the seven or nine, and if it's yourself, you just work all positions, and you're on the CRJ 200. So, um, this is an Atlanta trip. I actually picked this trip up. I'm supposed to be on vacation, but I figured why not pick up a trip just to make some extra money. Um, with that being said, we have a 2.15 p.m. van um, and it's 1.58. The thing about working p.m. flights, because y'all know I don't do p.m. flights, is I don't have to worry about oversleeping. I don't have to worry about missing my alarm clock, not falling into a deep sleep, because as much as I love working a.m. flights, I don't get the best sleep because I'm always nervous that I'm gonna oversleep. So it's kind of like a, you know, you gotta pick your poison, you know what I'm saying? The afternoon crowds are a little bit different. Weather is a little bit different. It's like chaotic, evening, rush hour, you know, everyone is just, going through you know the motion so <sighs> p.m. and night flying is just a little bit different uh, uh, but that's okay I picked this up this trip actually isn't too bad for it to be an Atlanta trip but this trip started yesterday we had three flights yesterday two flights today two flights tomorrow three flights on the last day but two of them are operational and one of them is a deadhead so it's an easy trip not too long of sits um, I know we do have a two hour 46 minute sit once we get to Atlanta today, but that's okay. Um, it could be worse, and like I said, it's only a two flight day. So, I'm going to be heading downstairs just so I can get my ice pack, see if there's any coffee available, see if there's any tea, and just pace myself just so I'm not in a rush. Lately, when I've been working the morning flights, I've just making, I've been barely making it downstairs with like a minute to spare, if that, you know? So, it's great, you know? I wasn't able to get breakfast, but you know, it just felt great to just wake up and just, be lazy on my layover and stay in bed without having to worry about going to work right away so let's head out i already ate uh, lunch um had some beans some chicken and some water so let me chug my water and we're gonna head downstairs i do this because sometimes i can forget to drink water like during the day so i like to start off the day being hydrated and I really try to push myself to drink water because I'll be going heavy on my coffee. So let's get up out of here. <laughs> This is such a great crowd coming here from Bloomington. It was so cold and windy in Bloomington. So we were on the aircraft and literally you can feel the plane like rocking, like swaying back and forth hard. Um, 
but other than that it was a great flight coming here we are working on a crj 900 but this is a funky crj 900 because the bins are built like a crj 700 and i was hustling to get my bag in the overhead bin because i didn't overpack but i didn't pack light so i figured i could possibly get it in because i didn't want to have to deal with pink tacking my bags and then forgetting about it and then this is atlanta this is a huge you know a hub so i didn't want my bags to be going through it so i managed to get my bags in the overhead bin i had to take my hygiene bag out but yeah we had to also uh communicate with the gate agent just to pink tag all bags just so um we didn't have people like trying to you know walk upstream when we're boarding to gate check their bags but other than that like i told y'all great flight coming here we did have to wait 21 minutes after we deplaned everyone um for all six of our customers who needed wheelchairs to um be escorted off the aircraft like i told y'all it's always a waiting game here in atlanta some days not mm, some days they're here but most days they're not and it's just like whenever they come they come so I did give the customers a heads up while we were still in Bloomington just to remain comfortably seated just so um, they're not standing and waiting for too long because you never know with Atlanta but um, we did lose our first officer they pulled him off of the trip to work a flight to Burlington and we will meet back up with him on the last day of the trip for our turn I know I told y'all earlier that um, we had three flights on the last day and a deadhead, but technically tomorrow we have our deadhead. So the last day we still have three flights, all of them are operational, but tomorrow we have one deadhead and then one operational flight. And the mask mandate has been extended up until March 18. Today is December 6. So I believe it was supposed to be over with in January, but they extended it again. Um, other than that, we are about to chill here. We have about two hours and 59 minutes until we depart. I was looking at the monitor. Um, yeah, two hours and 59 minutes until we depart to uh, Lafayette. And that's all that I have for you guys. I feel like there's something else I need to tell y'all. Nope, we got cleaned, waiting on cater. And that's all. So I'll catch you guys a little later. Travelers, so I woke up from a nap not too long ago. Hopefully my face doesn't look like sleep um, We're still waiting on a first officer. We depart out of here. Well, we start boarding in the next 10 minutes and um, We would depart out of here in the next 40 minutes. So that's um, The update that I have for you guys I don't know if I told y'all but we were supposed to be keeping our pilots the entire four days of this trip but as y'all know uh, they pulled our first officer off to work um, another flight so hopefully our first officer our new first officer comes here soon just so we don't take um, a delay for it because I'm ready to be in my hotel room because I am tired okay like tired tired we got catered the aircraft is cleaned um, gate agent sent us a message we have no special customers so uh that's all she wrote so it's a rather full flight heading to lafayette and it's a full service that tends to keep me busy and i will catch you guys a little later So we are in our hotel here in Lafayette. I think I was saying Lafayette, but I think it's Lafayette. Yeah, um, it's currently 1017. Um, we have a van at 415 tomorrow afternoon. And I'm tired, but today was a great day. Um, grateful that we had great crowds. We did end up getting a first officer like about uh, 25 minutes prior to departure so after we started boarding um, he came uh, because there was like lots of storms and weather within the vicinity of the south um, pilots were just all over the place uh, we had some pretty bad turbulence coming into uh, Lafayette so um, 
captain didn't even want us to do service so <laughs> we love when um the captain says uh <laughs> we will we'll have our flight attendants remain seated for the duration of the flight okay <laughs> y'all heard our captain so that was great um and when we got here when we landed I called the hotel van to come pick us up and I love when the front desk says that they're there waiting on us and they're actually there waiting on us. So the staff here is amazing from the van driver um, to the front desk personnel. They were all amazing. They gave us like a cute little goodie bag. Uh, this got some Zaps spicy Cajun chips. We got some uh, Zaps voodoo chips. I've never had any of these chips before. Got some Swedish fish in a Sprite. And they offered to freeze my ice packs for me. They told me to call them if you know there's anything wrong with the room. And I told them I will. They were so sweet, so nice. And there's breakfast here, so we'll see if I get up for breakfast. It's really hard after working, you know, the night shift and trying to get up for breakfast. So I have some oatmeal in my bag in case, you know, I, you know, I'm starving, but that's all that I have for you guys. Today was an easy day. This is my kind of day. Um, not many flights to work, great crowds, great crews. Um, I love it, no complaints. We're actually gonna lose our first officer tomorrow. He's going to be leaving out um, earlier than us, so we'll probably get another first officer. And uh, yeah, so I thought I was gonna be a little bit more tired than I am now because um, I did finish a three-day trip the day before I started this trip I was able to go home so that was nice I was home for about like maybe 12 hours and I turned back around and started this trip but so far so good this is the second day of the trip I don't feel drained I don't feel burnt out I'm pacing myself and um, I'm knocking it out so I'm about to do my room routine. If you guys aren't familiar with that, I'll link the video below. Take a shower. I'm not going to eat because I'm still full from lunch. And um, iron a new shirt and call it a night. So I did want to thank y'all for watching uh, this video. Um, please be sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to comment. Comment a fish emoji for the Swedish fish to let me know that you watched this video up until the end. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, bye.